And that wasn't the only issue with security. The university had this week, Allied Barton personnel is beefing up security and it's in reaction to one student's article. Updates, Alyssa Jerome is live outside Beery Hall right now. What's going on, Alyssa? Tell us about this story. Ye yeah, guys, I'm in front of Beery Hall, which is one of the places the student said she was able to get into. Other places on the list include Weiss and Alter Hall. And there's been a lot of talk on campus here about this incident, both positive and negative feedback, because the ID policy has gotten stricter from the security guards, and it's certain that students are more aware to show their owl cards on the way to class. Getting around Temple campus is a challenge if you don't have your student owl card. But Temple student Alyssa Mancuso had an unusual form of ID to get her through her day. The student told us she was able to get past several secured entrances using a Target gift card. She was given the idea from her editor in another on-campus publication. I was like, all right, like I'm down for it. I was a freshman, it was my second article. She said she was able to pass security with the card in spots like Gladfelter Hall, Tyler School of Art, and even the Tech Center. I was kind of just like, like, did I just do that? Like, it felt like I was, like, getting away with, like, breaking the law. And Alyssa isn't the only one questioning security. The buzz surrounding the experiment spread to students. They're always on their phones usually as well sometimes, which is kind of, uh, kind of annoying. I go into all the buildings, say good morning, say hello, and sometimes they don't even, like, look up or respond or anything. Starting this year, facilities like Annenberg Hall now require students to swipe their card instead of just showing it. And after the gift card experiment, campus security has more ideas on how to enforce the policy. Captain of Security Operations Jeffrey Chapman explained creating a less comfortable setting could help. Have them standing up and, and greeting folks as they come in during class break. And that creating pathways from a building's entrance will help ensure IDs are checked. The setup in the buildings is going to be what's key to success. And it wasn't just for fun. Alyssa's priority was creating awareness. Maybe Temple security make getting more strict and, and talking to the security and seeing what the issue is. So. Now the security of operations are hoping his new measures will prompt students to have their OWL card in hand when entering buildings. And if they don't have that, have other means of identification like an app on Temple self-service banner. Reporting in front of Bury Hall for Temple Update, I'm Melissa Jerome.